Hello, it's Steve Mills here, back on the Results Podcast. Great to be here and looking forward again to sharing some more tried, tested and proven ways in which you can grow your business. As you may know, I've been uh, doing this for 25 years. This being helping small businesses to improve the effectiveness of their sales and marketing. I've worked in thousands of businesses, in hundreds of industries, and I've helped businesses to make literally millions and millions of pounds of additional unforeseen income. Obviously not all of them. Startups, I help to get them to their first uh, 100,000 to six figures as quickly as possible, normally within about six months. And, uh, you know, business is turning over two or 300,000 to hit that elusive uh, first million. But today I wanted to talk to you a little bit, I suppose, uh, from a negative point of view, and that is why businesses fail. Now, it's only negative if you look at it that, you know, this is the reason and then you don't do anything about it. But what I'm hoping you're going to do is you're going to think, well, I mean, this is the reason why businesses fail. And so I better make sure that I uh, don't fail and I do something about it. So it's a it's a positive subject, but I, I believe done in a, 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 a sorry, it's a, what I meant to say was it's a negative subject, but I believe it's done in in a positive way. So uh, that said, uh, let me just talk to you about what I think are the reasons uh, why business has failed. Now, clearly, just to clarify, there are lots of reasons. You know, there uh, there are personal reasons, there are financial reasons, perhaps there are operational reasons. Uh, there are marketing reasons, there are relationship reasons that, you know, Uh, If we were to list all the reasons, I'm sure we could list over 100 potential reasons why a business would fail. However, there are arguably a couple of them that are are the real biggies out there. Now, if you talk to an accountant, uh, they'll tell you uh, that the number one reason why businesses fail is that uh, it's poor cash flow or poor um, management of finances. Um, that's a weird um, voice I put on there to represent an accountant. I don't think I've ever heard an accountant talk like that, but there we go. Uh, just part of the, the value and the entertainment that I bring to you. Um, yeah, so, you know, that is certainly, you know, fairly high up there. But uh, do you know what? I think it's actually not true. Uh, and and that, here's why. My belief is that the number one reason that um, businesses fail it comes down to this. Uh, it's just two words. Well, it's actually three words. Lack of sales. Lack of sales. You know, if, if you've got enough sales in your business, you can employ someone who's really good from a financial management point of view. You know, you can employ your own full-time accountant. You know, you can employ a finance director who's going to make sure that, you know, your business doesn't fail from a cash flow point of view. You know, uh, okay, it could still happen. You know, you could still uh, have done a load of work for somebody and not been paid yet. Then they could go bust owing you millions of pounds. That's possible. Uh, although I would also add it's it's probably bad financial management. Um, but if you could if you could get sales into your business, and this is my point really. You can overcome anything. You can overcome people problems. You can employ, you, you can employ people who are uh, at least as good, if not better than you. You can overcome so many problems if you can just make enough money. And so, you know, if, if I ask you a question, you know, uh, around your, your own marketing ability, and I'm assuming that you're responsible for marketing within your business. Uh, But whoever it is, if it's not you and it's somebody else, the same thing applies. Um, I'm going to ask you, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being awful, 5 being average, and 10 being truly outstanding, how good are you at marketing? And you might also want to assess how good are you at uh, you know, managing your website and updating it. How good are you at copywriting? How good are you at using LinkedIn and social media? How good are you at doing email marketing and search engine optimization 
and so on and so forth. So how good are you on a scale of one to ten? Now, you know, I, I've been 25 years in sales and marketing. And if, if, um, if I told you, for, say, for example, with search engine optimization, I'm probably, if, if five's the average business owner, then I'm probably, uh, I don't know, about an eight, I'd say. I know quite a bit more than most, but I certainly don't know as much as some. You know, and and so I need to constantly uh, a work on my knowledge, but also keep my knowledge up to date because you know the digital world that we live in now changes constantly. You know, I was in the middle of a seminar the other day on how to use LinkedIn to grow your business, which is one of the services that we offer. I was actually running the seminar. And uh, I noticed a couple of new things on LinkedIn that were literally weren't de- there the day before. And I, you know, initially thought, oh, what, what's this? You know, I've got to try and help these people to understand it. It took me a few minutes to quite understand how to use it. But, you know, it was a fantastic uh, opportunity. And, uh, you know, so I, I've got a new thing now that I'm teaching people on uh, on LinkedIn and how to use it. So... Uh, you know, my, my, really, that's my message. That's the purpose of this particular podcast, uh, just to uh, really uncover uh, the biggest problem, your biggest problem, if you're like 99% of the businesses that I speak to is not enough sales. And that could be uh, that you're not generating enough leads Or it could be that you're not converting enough of those leads into sales. Now, I don't know whether that's you, but I suspect it probably would be. Or you'd certainly, you know, maybe you're doing enough, but you're not really doing as many as you'd like. You'd like to upgrade. You'd like to become more effective. So you've got two choices, really. You've got to either work on yourself and your team, getting yourselves better at that. And I can certainly help with that. You could come on to one of my workshops be it an online workshop or um, um, in the future, uh, hopefully we'll, when all this COVID stuff's gone away, uh, we'll be um, running work- workshops from our offices and, and literally other parts of the world. Uh, and, uh, and then we, you, know, you could uh, become part of our coaching program. Uh, we call it the results program, which is all about how to improve uh, your results, and you might want to uh, go to our website to find about that. Uh, lastly, we, we offer a done-for-you service, so we can do it for you, so you can employ the experts, although I would still say it's really important to work on your knowledge as well, because the last thing you want to do is to outsource something like SEO and not have a clue about what you're paying for. So, you know, it's really important, um, I think, to have at least a, a, a working knowledge of everything that you're paying for. Nothing worse than buying something that you don't understand. So um, that's it. So uh, thank you very much for listening. Uh, I hope that's given you some food for thought. Work on your marketing. Work on your sales skills. Uh, if you need help, then go to our website, www steve millscom uh, set up a free meeting, click one of the orange buttons, and uh, I look forward to meeting with you soon. Thanks very much for listening.